So, you want to continue the story of the Toy Factory? Well, Jared's headed off to musical memory. There shouldn't be any toys there that are trying to kill and eat him, right? Hmm. Well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> the sliding metal door is revealed by the bright lights illuminating the sign musical memory. As the door opens, Jared sees the steps down into a tiled room. As he enters, the massacred sight of a toy is unsettling. He had seen them so many times, but the death of this toy or creature, whatever you wanted to call it, was excessive. It made him feel uneasy. As he turned, he could see that there was a large tunnel on his side as well as the other. He decided to travel down them. It seemed like the only path to go. The clink and clank of moving parts or perhaps toys Maybe even others in the factory made Jared feel more queasy. As he reached the end, there was a large hole in the room. It led under the floor. The dirt was earthy and brown in color. As he walked down the squishing earth beneath his feet, he wondered what creature could create this hole. The light from the previous room and the dark hole led to a darker room. He could make out the words molding room in the silhouette. Pulling the lever illuminated this area, the bright light shining on these humanoid-like machines. A green cassette tape sitting amongst the controls. Jared had to make a choice to continue or to watch. And at this point, he made his choice. He wondered what was on this cassette tape. He plugged it in and the video began to play. It had seemed to be an instruction on how to use the green hand. He could only assume that this time in the molding room he'd be creating them. The molding room was also new to him, but it seemed quite straightforward. pressed the button and one of these lifelike machines filled with small orbs which melted down. He returned to controls but noticed a broken pipe. He decided that he should fix that before proceeding. Grabbing it with the blue hand, it pulled it into place so easily. He was amazed by the wonder of the machine that was strapped on his back, the strength it had. He listened as the gushing of this liquid poured over his hands, the machine inside spinning and looking like a wheel of teeth, the hands pushing out of the bottom. But he caught a sight of something, something golden color. It was behind the machine, maybe on top. As he stepped around, he could see it like a golden hand. As he pulled it to himself, it was another one of the statues, just like the one he saw in Ludwig's office. He decided to stash it away and return to the controls, pressing the next button. The alarming sound of empty paint, that is what he heard. He needed to find some, and he hoped this blinking light at the top of the conveyor would help him. He went to the back of the room, his mind filled with the wonders of this place. He stepped up the stairs, and as he did, he thought about the fact that this place created so many happy toys for children. The processes were so unusual that it brought joy to people. However, that world was flipped upside down, because this place was now a horror scene. A movie filled with disgusting creatures trying to eviscerate him. His mind returned to that normality as he dropped down back to the controls. He pressed the button and couldn't even remember how he got there. He watched the green paint squirt onto the hands. At least now he'd have two, and he should be able to proceed farther into the factory. 
the final button push press the hands down and onto the conveyor as the wheels turn they pulled to the end he now had the secondary hand he followed the instructions of the tape and moved the electrical current over he was back in the vents now he immediately felt claustrophobic and watched the door behind him close he was panicking on the inside he hoped not to encounter Huggy Wuggy in here again. But how could he have survived that fall? There was no way. He stepped out. It was in another tiled room. It looked like perhaps he was on the other side of the gate. He'd made it over. As he stepped out, he was definitely on the other side. He saw the cardboard cutout and hoped that when he pressed the button, it would give him some sort of helpful help. He was startled, though. The Bunzo no Bunny Cutter called his birthday. By, by date, there was no way. <laughs> he was... He was scared. He was filled with... Blockage in his mind. He couldn't think of anything but this cardboard cutout. How did it know his birthday? He find he had stumbled his way into the main room. The lights flicked on and he saw the bridge that he walked across was lowered. He was trapped. He was panicking, trying to read these instructions. Welcome to musical Watched memory. The video. It didn't make sense in his head. This he advanced was so memory out and about cognitive that recognition test out. is designed to stimulate several segments he tried to of pay the brain, close attention. allowing us to see how quickly and efficiently his head, your brain works. Reminding him that there was something Something a sequence of colors place. will be shown, it was and you must recreate the exact sequence mind was using the buttons around that you. Image of Bunzo, dropping Bunzo down will slowly the lower layer. towards you. He's when you complete a color down. pattern correctly, His Bunzo will rise back up. When you input a pattern incorrectly, fact, Bunzo, Bunzo will lower towards you faster. At this if point, Bunzo reaches you, your test is over. Was not alive. The test will become more difficult as was it continues, with longer like patterns that. in quicker succession. He realized That's at this all. time he had missed the good rest luck. of the instructions. He'd caught the good luck, but that was it. The lights went off and the panic was building. A oh, isn't it long, amazing? Long creature was Mommy talking hasn't to him. seen the place I've been running the panic in years. Was building. Mommy can it was perpetually growing and strained. He looked up again and Bunzo was coming close to him. He's been able to play. Close enough that he could see those sharp teeth when the symbols me. clashed. He backed up trying to get away. But he realized there was no oh, hope. The running. No escape. He had to win. His heart was beating a hundred miles an no. hour. He had messed up already. No, red. As he pressed the buttons, his heart Yellow. would try red. and continue Yellow. to beat faster. His breathing was becoming more panicked. Red. He Yellow. felt like he was going to pass out. Every time he hit one of those buttons, it Yellow. became worse. Red. He Yellow. became faster. Yellow. He red. didn't know he could do this. But as the first round was passed, the next start, that breath of green. relief he had between them was gone. Green, green. As it was time again to continue this green, game. Green, green. This game of life and death. He green, pressed the green, button. Green, green, yellow. Green, 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 yellow, blue. Violet. He didn't know where it was. He spun around and saw the button. He quickly slapped it. This wasn't going to stay Round simple. Green. It wasn't going to be four buttons in front. White. 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 Where was the white button there? White. Yellow. He was panicking. His mind white, was yellow, filled orange. like worms in a bucket wiggling around. There was no control. White, there yellow, was no direction. He was traveling. Colors of white, violet, orange, these new white, yellow, sequences was destroying him. He 
was so worried he was almost like pressing on the board and trying to fly the plane, hoping that he could not be battered. And the scene was working out like his subconscious was keeping him safe by knowing it. But he did it. Round four. Something was helping him, whether it was his insides or something else. Colors were becoming symbols now. A J, a heart. It was just so confusing. He could feel his heart thumping in his throat like a toe. He didn't know if he could do it. Pie. Now there was a pie. J, a heart, a pie, the colors didn't matter as much anymore. Getting mixed in a question mark. More than a thumping in his chest, his head was going to play. He would peek up at one's own good. Round five. But then, more buttons dropped, more, more colors, more things more that didn't make sense. He didn't even know what some day. of the symbols were. He tried to press, press a button, but nothing would work. His sound is in his mind. His special weapons hit it as it spun. The machines began to pop and spark. His bundle was real back up. That's no fun. He was scared. He was out of breath, breathing doing heavy, such a trying to listen job. to this pink mommy long legs to give have you him catch his breath. Of the code for the train. He didn't know how people could find this no game problem. fun. Perhaps it was different. Take it. Different before this factory was. A long arm held out to him. He was squeamish to grab it. He was scared. Happy it didn't grab his other hand Mommy and rip it off like before. The game could last a At this point, longer. it seemed like he had beat this it's first okay, game. Though. But he was one more step closer to escaping. But he did not trust the situation. The bridge came back up. He could leave. He put his hands on his knees, looking around, trying to catch his breath more. It was time to go. He was unsure if this was the right choice. What other choice did he have, though? He stepped onto the bridge, hoping this would be his last time in the factory. So, Jared beat Bunzo the Bunny. Pretty close, though, if you ask me. Maybe somebody's looking out for him. Or perhaps Jared's just good at games. I guess we'll find out in the other two. Hey, thanks for coming <laughs> to watch the Poppy Playtime story series. You just finished the second episode of Chapter 2, or Episode 4 overall. If you enjoyed it, please leave us a like and subscribe to the channel. Come join the Allegorian community of fun and stories. If you're looking for some more, check them out here. And more importantly than anything, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.